Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. We're going to master the airspace knowledge you need to know to fly safely and legally in the national airspace system. One of my greatest talents is to simplify complex subjects so that they're easy to understand. This is exactly what we're going to do for you here now. We are going to start with the simplest airspace and work up to the most complex. Who is this for? Small unmanned aircraft systems commonly known as drones, single place flying vehicles commonly known as ultralights, sport pilots flying light sport aircraft, and private instrument and commercial pilots flying everything else. This is helpful overall to understand the different airspace types and know what type of aircraft fly into which type of airspace. This will apply to the new pilot learning airspace for the first time, the returning pilot getting back into aviation, a current pilot getting ready for a flight review, instructors, or anyone else wanting to brush up or learn airspace from scratch. It is much easier to really learn, understand, and remember concepts if you understand why it is what it is. Here we're going to learn why so you can understand, apply it to your flying, and correlate it to your flight planning and actual flight operations. For each level of pilot certificate, you will learn what you need to know and what you do not need to know. The reason the national airspace system has evolved into such a complex system is for your safety. Yes, you must learn airspace to get through your proficiency check, flight review, check ride, and stay out of legal trouble. However, if you realize what different airspace is for your safety and well-being, it will help you learn and understand. We are going to start long ago when all the airspace was uncontrolled and it was just free and open air. The wind in your face, the feeling of freedom to leave the earth. We will build on this foundation with simple steps to cover more complex airspace. You will learn the basics of how to operate in or stay clear of airspace you should not be in. So let's get started. Getting started suggestion. We will be talking about FAA National Airspace Sectionals. This is a map of the airspaces we will be working with. Now is the time to get some sort of FAA current VFR sectional chart for your area. This could be paper and or digital. This is up to you. It is getting more and more practical to have the current sectionals on your portable smart device. Typically, you'd get a current paper sectional to reference and use your computer or smart device for current information covering updates. The paper sectional has most of the information and codes needed for reference, which we will use here. The FAA paper sectional is the FAA code book, which we will be using throughout this course. Additionally, referencing the items we cover here for your specific area will help you understand and apply airspace to your area.